Good afternoon, uh, all two listeners. It is uh, the 5th of April. Today is a Tuesday. Tuesday, April 5th, 2016. It is uh, 3.25 in the p.m. in uh, Mountain Time. A little late, but whatever. You're not paying for this, so who cares? Today's going to be a shorter show. I say that often, but I end up, uh, you know, jabbering on for a little bit longer, but... That's just kind of how it goes. I didn't really plan this one out a whole lot because I've been busy, kind of. So whatever. Just deal with it. Um, All right, let's just do an update. Let's do an update on the podcast. Uh, The podcast is actually soon to be a podcast. I found a website that gives me unlimited bandwidth and unlimited uh, hosting so I can put on, you know, keep all my podcasts on there. It's not going to cost me a lot of money. And, um, so right now it's in the stages of being, (laughs) excuse me, right now it's in the stages of being approved by iTunes because essentially Apple is the, um, commie dictator that tells you what is and what is not good for you. So once I hear back from them, we will, uh, I'll let you know when it's available for download. Today is episode number five, so fill your piece of crap iPhone up with my wonderful, sexy voice. This Friday, the 8th, is the last day you can submit ideas or, I don't know, submissions. Submit a submission. Submissions for the logo. Grant Heron has pretty much sealed it with his amazing talents and efforts. Um,. I don't even, I'm not, I might give him 50 bucks. It's hard to say. I mean, I have them. I, I don't have to pay him. I, they, they belong, I, they're, they're mine now. But I probably will. Because I need some more help from him. Plus, he's a good guy. Plus, I said, I, di- I do it. And Andrew Latham does what he says he's going to do. If I say I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there. It's called integrity. It's called, uh, well, it's integrity. That's what it is. Honesty. And I'm all about that. Name one time I've ever lied to anyone ever. That's what I thought. So, there. Anything else? Um, logos will be up. The actual show will be a downloadable version. Once the podcast website is up and everything, once it's looking professional, I'll include links for that on the Facebook page so we can, uh, you know, you can download it if you don't want to listen to it for y- at YouTube for now the four people that listen to it. Um, we've got some good would-you-rathers this week and deal-breakers. Let's get into those real quick. And I am learning how to do sound effects and drops and music. I am going to get some of that going. Uh, you know, it's hard being me. It's hard waking up and, you know, not having anything to do. It's rough. You think you have it rough because you have a job and you make money and people care if you get home. Yeah. Yeah. That's not rough. That's easy. Whatever. Well, let's let's get into it. Uh, this is a good would you rather because because and it, we're pretty, pretty evenly split. Um, this week, the would you rather w- was uh, would you rather hear I love you or would you rather hear? Yeah, you're right. Um. Right now, I love you is up by one. We have 14 people that would rather hear I love you, and 13 people would rather hear Yeah, you're right. Um, so the the winner, if you chose Yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right. That is the correct answer. But you know, if you hear I love you a lot, you probably never hear Yeah, you're right. And if you hear Yeah, you're right a lot, you probably don't hear I love you. Because if you say I love you, that means you're probably in a relationship. Um, And if you're in a relationship, there's going to be some arguing. And if there's a woman in that relationship, then good luck getting her to admit that she's wrong. Which she probably will be 99% of the time because she has two X chromosomes, which means that You know, she is mentally incapable of being as correct as a man. That's just, that's science. 
I mean, that's common knowledge. Um, and if you hear, yeah, you're right a lot, you're probably kind of a douche and no one will ever love you. So that's why you might want to hear, I love you, you know, so... Plus, I don't know, let's see, I think more girls liked Chose I Love You. Let's see. One, two, three, no? A lot of dudes. But most dudes... Uh, one, two, three... I mean, more more girls chose I Love You, and more guys chose Yeah, You're Right. I mean, that makes sense, because a man, being the superior sex, is capable of admitting when he's wrong. I'm never wrong, so I don't ever have to admit that. But, uh, you know, part of being in a relationship is when your wife's on your case for, or girlfriend or whatever is, you know, flapping her gums about, uh, I don't know, the shirts you wear or, God, what else do they whine and cry about? I mean, like you never pay attention to them or something stupid like that, it doesn't matter. You don't want to deal with that. You've had a busy day. You don't... I, I, I come home to not be stressed. Not listen to you cry about your feelings, you know? Go get a cat if you want that kind of solace. So so we go, yeah, okay, you're right. You're f fine. Please, woman, stop slowly killing me from the inside, okay? I don't feel anymore. I don't have any more emotions. I woke up this morning and took a shower and I couldn't tell if it was hot or cold, okay? I burned myself on my coffee because I couldn't tell if it was hot or cold because I'm, I'm dead inside. So so th that's what will happen if you're in a relationship. So that's why you'd want to hear, yeah, you're right. Because if you ever heard your dear, beautiful wife say, yeah, you're right, then, you know, the clouds will part and beams of sunlight will come out and rainbows will come out and little baby birds will chirp and smile. Uh, and if you're a single, lonely, sad sack loser, uh, you might want to hear I love you. You might want to have another person look at you in the eyes and say, I love you. Um, and then two days later, they'll tell you that uh, they're, you know, they have a new boyfriend. So, But yeah, I mean, if you're a lonely, sad sack, just pathetic pitiful loser who you know spends their friday I, I mean i'm not this so i wouldn't know i'm just spitballing i'm not sure what these people do but like maybe you spend your friday nights uh cleaning guns because you know you have nothing else to do and you don't get on facebook because other people posting all these pictures of their wonderful lives and it doesn't make you feel bad or empty inside or like just lonely forever and slowly the clock keep, keeps ticking towards your death and you just lay in bed and wonder what it's all for. I mean, I don't know what that is. That's not something that I've ever, uh, never happened to me. But uh, in short, the correct answer is, yeah, you're right. That is what you should rather want to hear. And if you want to hear I love you, then get a hold of yourself. Uh, just find a hobby, you know, that you can jump into. Um, speaking of transitions, let's transition into the next one. How was that one, Freddy? Is that one good, buddy? That one was for you. Uh, which is the dip bigger deal breaker? This this deal breaker thing is 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 nice. This helps someone like me, who um, doesn't really know what they're doing when it comes to things like uh, dating and relationships and other things like that. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. So the bigger deal breaker, the two options this week were uh, someone who takes a lot of selfies, which is very annoying. Uh, and then we also have someone who is a bad driver. So, for example, someone who gets over at the last minute. This is, you know, hey, make a right, and you tell them a mile, you know, two miles before the exit, and then at the last minute they get over. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? I told you two miles ago to get over, and now all of a sudden you're going to cross six lanes of traffic and cut people off? If, that ever, if, if I was driving in a car with someone and they did that, and if I had a gun on myself, I would pull it out, and I'd put it in their mouth, and I'd say, get out of the car, we're switching. And as soon as they got out of the car, I just quickly jump to the driver's seat and I, and I drop them off. And I might flip them off as I'm driving away. But uh, Other things that piss me off that people do when they drive is 
creeping to the stoplight. This is another, this is one of those deal breakers, you know, if the people who stop 15 feet behind and then they'll, they'll creep up three feet, stop, and then creep up another two feet, stop, and then blah, 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 finally they get to the, the, where they're effing supposed to stop. How hard is it to stop once? Stop not thinking. Start thinking. Like when you drive, pull your head out of your ass and drive. Don't be a passive person sitting in a driver's seat. You need to pay attention to what you're doing. Okay? I know I can't think of too many guys that have these kind of problems. I'm not saying that this is a woman's problem. I'm just saying that, you know, ladies, uh, figure it out. And so right now, the bigger deal breaker is people, it seems that people who take a lot of selfies is the bigger deal breaker. And uh, that is correct. The popular one is correct this time, and I'll tell you why. If someone's a bad driver, you can just not be with them when they drive, or you can drive. And it, that's that's how you fix that. It's hard to fix someone who takes a lot of selfies, because... Um, there's not really an easy way to tell them to knock it off without hurting their feelings. And it's not so much that you don't feel bad for hurting their feelings. It's the repercussions that you don't want to suffer as they cry and say that you don't love them and yada, yada, yada. It's also a lot of them making faces and you're not sure, you know, they take the picture, they make the face and you're not sure what you're supposed to do. Are you supposed to comment? Um... Are you supposed to say, hey, do you take all these pictures because you have low self-esteem and you're using this to gain, you know, you put this out on the internet so that people you don't know will tell you that you're pretty so you can feel good about yourself even though you don't? I mean, that's that's a therapist thing, you know. Because the other part is, if that's true, then you've opened up a can of worms that you got to fix. You know what I mean? Now that they've admitted to themselves that they have these self-image problems, which is good. You need, if you have that, you should admit it and then go get it fixed, but you got to fix it. And that's, I mean, it's rough. It's rough to be around people who do that. Plus it's just really annoying. Now for the ladies, you can give them a pass because I don't know why. I, I don't know why women get passes on selfies. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, maybe it does. Do you, do you think if this was in like the 1930s, do you think chicks would be all over selfies then too? If they could take selfies, I'm actually, I hate this word too. We need to think of a new word for selfies, but, uh, if chicks in like the 1930s, let's go to 1850s. Do you think chicks back then, if they could take a much selfies, do you think they would, do you think there would be, do you think we'd look at photo albums if they had access to that kind of technology, would it just be a bunch of chicks taking selfies? I think it would. I bet if you took a chick from 630 BC, 1260 AD, 1840 AD, and 2016, it doesn't matter. I mean, if they're Indian, like either one, or black or white or Hispanic or whatever, you get them all in a room and they're going to... Two things are going to happen. They're all going to become best friends or they'll turn into factions and begin to hate each other. Uh, they'll probably talk about, oh, your hair is so cute. And then they'll tell the other one, oh, this freaking whore. You know, that's what they do. If you took guys from those times, they'd probably just, well, first off, all the guy, like you had a guy from 2016 and he had an Xbox, they'd all just want to play Xbox um, because... What's the wh why would you not want to play Xbox? I mean, that's pretty much the reason there. But what were we talking about? Oh, selfies. So, yeah. Now, if you're a gal, if you're one of them broads, and you see a guy taking a lot of selfies, let's say there's a guy you like, you know, and you start, you flirt with him so that he'll ask you on a, on a date. Because heaven forbid that you do that. Um, and pay for it. And open my door. I want to know what that feels like, all right? Anyways, what was I talking about? So, uh, okay, yeah, so, you, okay, let's just say there's a dude, and you're scoping him out, you're going, this this guy, you know, I fancy him. Uh, I get all tingly when I think about him, and so you start to do some digital research. Check out Facebook and uh, Instagram, and if you're just 
if he's a real loser, you'll check out his Google Plus account that is automatically made because, heaven forbid, I can be on YouTube without Google Plus. Google Plus should just be called YouTube Comments Page. But, you know, you check that out. If there's a lot of selfies, you want to avoid him because that kind of means he's a chick. Uh, in fact, there should be almost no record of what he looks like. Maybe one or two. Or if there are records of what he looks like, it's because someone else is taking the picture. Selfies are only acceptable by men if you are, if it's a, if it's a joke. If you're making fun of it, then it's acceptable. But, you know, if you're at the gym and you take a selfie, uh, get over yourself. If you, I don't know, what, 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 when do guys take other selfies? I don't think that happens. It's just the gym, isn't it? Lift up your shirt, show off your six pack, and then, I don't know, what do you do? Ask for a girl's number after that? I don't have a six pack. I have a keg. It's freaking awesome. Um, what do I, I mean, it's weird that what do girls take selfies of just, just because? If they feel bad about themselves, why would they want to look at themselves, though? Maybe girls who take selfies have a whole lot of confidence. Or maybe they're just oblivious. In Japan, we had a word for that. Uh, kuki yomenai, which means they can't read the air. We we shortened that to KY. Um, and we would say, if, you know, if there was someone who didn't understand how awkward they were or something, then we would call them KY. But... I, th- I think selfies is definitely the bigger deal breaker because fixing someone's poor driving habits is very easy. You can tell them they're a bad driver and that you're going to help them and then, you know, reward them when they do well with, like, pieces of bacon or, you know, various other treats. Pat them on the head. Tell them they're a good boy. Sorry, good girl. <laughs> what am I talking about, good boy? But that's an easier bad trait to fix than the selfies. Um but for, for the broads, for the zero broads, single broads out there listening to this, uh, all the broads that listen to this, all the dames, damsels, and cutie pies are married, all two of you, uh, just make sure you don't let your husband take selfies. That's not acceptable for men to do. I know that a lot of girls are into dudes that act and look like chicks nowadays, but... Uh, I think they're into it at the beginning. Again, I could just be, you know, very bitter. I might be. Who knows? But I've thought about this a lot, you know. Uh, I live in an area of the world where chickish dudes seem to be very common. And I'm not talking about because of the way they dress, but also the way they act. They just, you know, are very effeminate. Um, I mean, it might be good at the beginning. You have a shopping partner, someone to do some gal talk with, but after a while, it might, but you know what it could be. I wonder why. How come they, what, How come chicks like chickish dudes now? Have they always liked chickish dudes and now there's just so many chickish dudes that the the supply has met demand where, where women just uh pacified before because they didn't have the resources for all the types of dudes they want or is it just because that's what or are they picking low-hanging fruit like that's what's there and so i'll just take it you know what if if you're if you if you're a woman and you're listening to this shoot me an email at the affr show at gmail.com that's the affr show at gmail.com Send me an email and tell me if you like chickish dudes, tell me why. And if you don't, tell me why. And you know, if you're a dude, too, and you have an opinion on this, send me an email, too. I want to talk a little bit more about this. Um, I am a dude. I don't think I'm too chickish. I do love chocolate. Uh, what else do I like that women like? Sweatpants? I'm not a big sweatpants kind of guy. I like shorts more. What else do girls like? I can't think. I I mean, it's usually things that aren't fun at all. Like, 
hanging out with people or... Uh, but I know some girls aren't like that. Anyways, you know what? Get back to me. Well, let's do. I want to. I want to delve into that a little bit further. That's an interesting topic. But yes, if you chose that, taking a lot of selfies is the bigger deal breaker. Then you are correct. Also, if her mouth is always open in every one of these selfies, if she does that open mouth, like weird smile, you. That's something that I'm not saying she's a bad person. I'm not saying it's not going to work out. I'm just saying. Keep one foot in and keep the other foot out. That way, if you need to make a quick escape, then you're halfway there. You know, these girls that take all these selfies with the with the open mouth smile, uh, just, you know, you want to be careful. Uh, so that's that. We're going to have some new ones. We have some new, we have some good ones this week, though. Oh, yeah, starting next week, shows will be Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Uh, Hopefully, on the weeks I can. This week, I do have work on Thursday and Friday. So I won't be able to put out a show. I'll put out another one probably tomorrow. And then one Saturday if I I can. But uh, I do... In in the summers, my work schedule is pretty erratic. I'm a tour guide. But I will be taking my microphone with me and recording at the end of the day. The internet in some of these areas is a little uh, shitty to say the least. So uploading them, you know, would might I'll probably, I might, if I can upload it that day, then I will, but sometimes I'll, I'll just record it and then uh, upload it the next day. Especially if, if I have to stay in Yellowstone, I have to pay for the internet and I'm not sure what the speeds are and I'm not sure I trust them if they even know what the speeds are. Hopefully I'll get to stay in West Yellowstone. That place doesn't suck too bad. Uh, every, everywhere else I stay sucks, actually, now that I think about it. I can't think of anywhere I stay that has dependable internet. I mean, West Yellowstone's probably the closest it's going to get. I will be in Jackson. Jackson will probably be pretty good. The Grand Canyon sucks. Monument Valley sucks. Bryce doesn't suck, but their internet sucks. Um, now nah, we'll figure it out. But anyways, we'll try and get some uh, normality to the show but I'm not going to leave you guys hanging I know you're I know you're waiting for your favorite part of the show the how to uh, this week's how to is something that's very personal to me and it's something it's a little it's a something that society really needs to look at and something that I'm guilty of and it's what to do if you have white privilege uh, for those of you who don't know what white privilege is it's also referred to as white unearned white skin privilege And what this is, is the unearned, basically inherent privileges you gain because of your white skin. Uh, According to, I think it was, I'm not sure if it was the NAACP, I can't remember who put it out, but some of these unearned white skin privileges include uh, having band-aids match your skin tone. Uh, When you stay in a hotel, the shampoo they provide works for your hair style. Um which I have to admit is pretty nice. Um, Even though whites make up a significantly higher proportion of the population in the United States, it would only make business sense to do that. But hey, that's probably a little bit more of my unearned white skin privilege coming through. But you might be asking yourself, you know, this comes in the news, you might be asking yourself, I have unearned white skin privilege. What can I do to fix this what can i do to get rid of this privilege and bring myself down to the playing level at which all the people who don't have white skin are playing at people like oprah winfrey uh pretty much any uh, sports player person basketball football mostly Maybe some, maybe some in baseball, but you know, uh, Al Sharpton, Al, ja- uh, no, not it's not Al Jackson, Jesse Jackson. You know, these are people that don't have a white skin privilege, and it's important that we, as white people, um, who, you know, we need to fix these problems in the past. 
Uh, unfortunately, right now, there is no governing body of non-white people that you can pay reparations to and have your name cleared off of this white skin privilege list. But um, in my research, I found the best thing you could do is kill yourself. Uh, that's how you can... That's how you can fix it. So if you're feeling, you know, if you feel that way, then hey, uh, there's a, a book they published in Japan called How to, Ki- How to Kill Yourself. You can check that out. Um, I wouldn't suggest that. Instead, you could just ignore it and call it stupid because that's what it is. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's your how-to. Tomorrow's how-to will be better. If you guys would like some how-tos, you know, if you're not sure how to do something, I mean, they could be simple things. Uh, They can be complex things, but I have a lot of free time on my hands. I don't sleep. My brain just keeps going. And a lot of, you know, the epiphanies I get come while I'm sleeping. That is to say, while I'm trying to sleep. So shoot me an email, theaffrshow at gmail.com. How many times do I have to effing say it? Theaffrshow at gmail.com. Shoot me an email. What would you like to learn how to do? Um, some how tos we have coming up that I'm working out the that I'm just finishing up is how to be a third wheel, how to plan a perfect first date, how to get ready for a first date. We'll have that for for a boy, for a gal, and a guy. Um, what, we've got some other ones coming up that are that are going to be really good. So, for the two people listening, thank you very much. I appreciate your patronage. And uh, whatever. So have a great rest of your Tuesday. We'll get a show out tomorrow too, hopefully in the morning. And hopefully by next week, we are running on 100%. Hopefully we'll be cooking with fire. We'll be the cat's pajamas with the bee's knees. And if you have any comments, questions, or ideas, send them to theaffrshow at gmail.com. And we'll get those taken care of. So thank you very much. Enjoy your Tuesday. Hit up the Maverick. It's Triple Trail Points Tuesday. Uh, You can earn triple points by spending money that you don't have on things you don't need there. But you can still do it. So have a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow.